Imagine, if you will, the possibility of reviving the dead, a concept that has fascinated mankind for centuries, from ancient mythologies to modern science fiction. But could it ever become a reality? Death, as we understand it, is not an event but a process. It's a series of biological occurrences that eventually leads to the cessation of vital functions. When the heart stops beating, when the lungs stop breathing, when the brain ceases to function, these are the hallmarks of death. But what if we could reverse this process? The complexity of the human body makes this a daunting task. Each organ, each cell in our body has a specific role to play. When one fails, it can set off a domino effect, leading to the failure of others. Reversing death would require not just restarting these functions, but repairing the damage caused by their absence. And then there's the brain. The seed of our consciousness, our memories, our very selves. When the brain dies, it begins to break down at a cellular level. Neurons die, connections are lost. To revive a person, we would need to restore these as well. A task that, with our current understanding and technology, seems nigh impossible. But science never stops advancing. Every day we learn more about the human body, about life and death. We develop new technologies, new treatments. Perhaps one day we might be able to reverse the process of death. However, even if we could, should we? Death is a natural part of life. It shapes our society, our cultures, our very understanding of existence. Would a world without death be a utopia or a dystopia? In conclusion, while the idea of reviving the dead is fascinating, it is also fraught with challenges. The complexity of the human body, the irreversible damage caused by death, and the ethical implications of such an act make it a concept that, for now, remains firmly in the realm of science fiction. To recap, death is a process, not an event. It involves the failure of multiple organs and systems, including the brain. Reversing this process would require repairing this damage and restarting these functions, a task that seems impossible with our current knowledge and technology. Even if it were possible, the ethical implications of such an act are significant. Our understanding of life and death continues to evolve, and who knows what the future may bring. For now though, the idea of reviving the dead remains just that, an idea.